It's a huge game for big stars like Jason Kidd. His first game seven. And Wallace is after the Rasheed Wallace miss. Here comes Richard Jefferson. And the tenor start of the game remain in. That's another thing to watch for. Who comes in and who subs? Jason Kidd missed everything. He's had a horrible shooting series. 10 of 46 now shooting threes in this series. Well, if you didn't notice when he showed you that last graphic of Jason Kidd and Chauncey. Go ahead, Richard. Give it a shot. If Rasheed can score in the low block, that will be a huge advantage yeah. for sure. No room. Every pass, every shot. Defended like it's the last. Kidd continues to struggle from the outside. NBA game seven. Jason Kidd has not either. In 11 minutes, no points, four assists, two steals, missed badly on a couple of field goals, and it's been part of the Jason Kidd story this year. In the playoffs, he was excellent. He controlled the Eastern Conference Finals that the Nets swept the Pistons last year. Far, far different. You guys highlighted the field goal percentage. How much of it do you think is attributable to Jason Kidd's bone bruise? He's clearly not 100%. Well, there's Williamson on the low block to start this second quarter. Blocked by Rodney Rogers. And good defense as Rogers sticks with it for the rebound. Evan O'Cour is coming from for Detroit. He takes a three right away and misses another one. So he's 0 for 3 from the field. 0 of 2 behind the line. And after that, of course, the shoot-around gang will be on hand before action. And Jim Gray will join their crew in Indianapolis. Who's going to make the four-and-a-half-hour drive? The next of the Pistons. Kid. Put it up on the glass. That was a shot attempt, not a pass attempt. And Collins caught it on the baseline. Every other night, that's a cool concept. And there's Jimmy <laughs> Goldstein's here who loves to watch basketball games, the fan from L.A. He'll be going Minneapolis. And Kevin, those eight turnovers have led to ten points. And points are a problem for the Nets right now. Jason Kidd has not scored. Tom, Jason Kidd doesn't have to score to control a game. He's not scoring, but he's not controlling the game. No, not at all. And it's a situation where you don't have to score a lot. But, Tom, when you look at the box score, Jason Kidd, zero points. Well, 0 for 4 for the field. He hasn't gotten many attempts. And the ones that he has got up haven't even been close. I mean, these things have been off and off by a mile. What are you going to say? I mean, he's not a guy that's going to come out and give you 20 points in a quarter. He, he's got to find a way to maybe get himself in the rim, get himself in the free throw line. But if you expect him to come out here and just light it up from the perimeter, that's not his game and it's not going to happen. And you know, Tayshaun Prince has been struggling offensively, but that makes you feel good about yourself right there. You threw the double team, you found an open teammate, and you got him a good look and he made the three. And also, Coach Brown ran the first play for him. Jason Kidd, he's not even close, guys. 0 for 5. The energy of Martin chases it down. But you know Jason will not uh, stop shooting necessarily. When he has to take it, he will. During the springs and summers to help earn money, Ben used to set up shop on the family's porch, wave down local cars, and offer, of all things, haircuts for $3. <laughs> These days, it's either the cornrows or the crows from Big Ben, and his wife makes the call before each game. Jason Kidd, another miss. You see the GM right there, the New Jersey Nets brought thorns. But that's the situation. In, in the NBA, you better have you better have your back or your best player. Jason Kidd, 0 for 6, 0 for 7 in Game 7. Jason Kidd, pointless. Never in his 72 prior playoff games has that happened. He doesn't have to score for them to win, but nothing and not dominating the game ain't gonna happen. Play the Wallaces and Jason Kidd, pointless. Michelle Tafoya told us had a heated pad on his back. That problem combined with the same deal. Ben Wallace is the loved player of this team. The Seagulls misses the three and Rodney Rogers gets the move. So the defensive style is very appealing to the fans in this game. Jason Kidd still cannot. 0 for 8 tonight. 90 to 69, the final score. Jason Kidd without a point in this decisive game seven. Goes over to see Larry Brown, who he has worked with USA basketball. A lot of respect from these people. Larry Brown now 5 and 3.